Hey there, Woodworking Internet. Steve here, back at Cryptic Woodworks. And I think it's about time we finish up this cipher wheel build. So the last thing we need to do is put a cap on so that you have something to grab hold of to rotate the wheel. As you can see, I just have a little bolt coming up through here. And this is essentially just a little um, quarter inch by three quarter bolt. Uh, I was using one inch uh, and I found they were actually a little bit long. I got to kind of drill really far in, but you know, I think I found these three quarters are holding just fine now. So what I do is I take uh, some square little blocks of wood. Mine happened to be two and a half by two and a half. And then I take my compass. You know, once I've cut it down, I mark the center point, stick my compass in, you know, trace my circle around. Then I head over my bandsaw, nip off the extra corners, uh, and then I just take this down to round using the uh, uh, sanding disc on my sander. Um, gosh, I've CNC'd these things, I've cut them out with jigsaws, I've done all sorts of things, and I've kind of found that the, uh, the little disc sander is probably one of the underrated tools in the shop, even with a 120 disc on, you'll, you'll take these edges off real fast, and these don't need machine precision, you know, once they're sanded. So I'll just kind of quick do these after I finish up the video here. And finally I'm left with a about two and a half inch round disc. Um, and that is just about fine for what I'm doing here. Now in the past I have used threaded inserts, which are these guys that are on here. And what you do is you drill a hole. I'll take this one off. You drill a hole into your piece. This threaded insert goes into that hole and then you can, you know, as you can see, thread that bolt right on in there. I do find that these are, you know, pretty close to the same height that I have here. Um, so you do have to be careful, you know, of the size that you put in. Um, these work fine. Absolutely no reason you can't use them. Like I said, I've done a whole lot in the past. Uh, but I've decided to try something that's a little new. As I have a nice new tool, which is... A wood tapping bit that might be kind of hard to see here I think yeah I can see the camera kind of picking that up um, it looks like a normal thread tap but these are designed for wood um, sold through Eagle America I can put the link down the website they're not too much for a set of three of them for your standard sizes but what I can do is I just draw a pilot hole and I'm using a quarter 20 pilot hole is 532nd for normal hardwoods and then this just threads right in with a you know standard hand drill. And all you want to do is kind of go in, be nice and careful. When you just feel it bottom out, um, just kind of back it right out, and that's all you need. Um, you know, these are good for you know light to medium duty, you know, threading jobs. And you know, this guy will thread on there. And uh, these bits are actually very, very slightly undersized. I mean like a tiny, tiny bit, but it's enough that when you get a few turns, they grab really hard. Um, and they're actually designed to do that in wood, you know, so I don't think I would even need anything like, you know, thread locker or anything that I used to put on when I was doing the um, inserts. You know, so that's really about it to make these tops. Uh, I'll probably come in and round the edges over slightly. And all I do is I glue this piece um, right onto it. Um, and I just kind of thread the bolt in a little bit while I'm gluing it. That way everything stays centered up for me. And then, you know, afterwards, it's you know, a simple matter to put it together. So, you know, all that's left after that is, you know, put some oil finish on, a few coats of wipe on poly, and that's about it. So, so I hope this gives you some ideas for making your own cipher wheels. Um, this may actually be one of the last sets that I make this way. Um, because uh, you might have seen it in the past, I've picked up another little toy, which is a laser cutter that allows me to work much, much smaller. Um, so I'm able to get some extremely fine cuts uh, and engraves with that laser cutter, more than I could ever do with the CNC. Um, plus, I can shrink these down so you can kind of see I got big brother and little brother there. Um, so, you know, make some, I can make them a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier to ship for people. Uh, and I think they still look absolutely beautiful. So, you know, I might keep some of the big brother around in stock, maybe make a few here and there, um, and then use the laser to knock out some more of the little brother um, with other designs coming up. And I'll do the same thing on these. I'll put the wood edging around them. I'll make a little handle to go in the center. 
um, you know, kind of all the finishing will be the exact same. I'm just going to be starting with the laser instead of the CNC. Hey everybody, I think that about does it for today's video. We'll keep this a little bit short. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot going on in this one, just cutting some circles, putting a hole and uh, thread tapping it. Um, nothing terribly complicated there. Um, as always, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. And I hope everybody stays dusty. It's starting to be good weather. Um, we should be back in the shops now. Uh, and if you can go anywhere, please enjoy. Bye.